Tugelo Can draw Hey uh, Bookworms of the Green Party I have a new book review for y'all And this is uh, called Plutocrats Which if you're familiar with the term It means um, power through wealth which is the opposite of the Green Party, obviously, we are the people, we are the powered by the people party, but plutocrats are powered by wealth, and it basically means the elite. And so this book is by, uh, uh, it's, uh, Chrisita Freeland, and it's Plutocrats, The Rise of the New Global Super Rich, and the Fall of Everyone Else really enjoyed this book but let me go into detail just a little bit in, in a second you know it, i want to say real fast if y'all haven't been on the young greens uh conference calls uh it's a bi-weekly call on mondays um i missed the animal rights call with zach looney this week because uh of course megan weird fucking ripped my shirt off me on the way to work like Incredible Hulk style like in half and really set my whole night off. I had to skateboard to the transit center and just lost my mind. And um, you know, but uh, on, a, on a positive side, uh, I've been kind of like keeping, uh, maintaining my mind. Talking to somebody new, um, I've been talking to a girl named Naya who she says that she reads books like I do, you know, a couple hundred pages in a day, you know, a few hours, give or take, but she's a bit of a nihilist, so I'm not really too sure where to take that conversation, but she's cool, and she's been really balancing my mind through <laughs> madness of Megan Weed, but um, on, the, on the last conference call, uh, Sherry Honkala was on there talking about the Poor People's Campaign, and if you ain't been following Sherry, she, um, well, first of all, vice presidential uh, candidate alongside Joe Stein, and you might also know her, she's the first Green endorsed by Our Revolution. Um, Sherry Honkala is a major activist, and she's doing a lot of work with the Poor People's Campaign right now, and she was recently arrested this weekend trying to talk to Ben Carson about some kind of wealth disparages, so... Free Sherry Honkala, she's a real warrior, women's rights advocate, and poor people's uh, rights advocate. Um, uh, she's a, she's going to keep going, and more power to her. So, speaking of power, uh, hopping into this book uh, about plutocrats. Good book, about 285 pages. I was able to read it in just about three hours exactly, I ate through this book, uh, quickly though, because I'm tired, and I just got back from coloring book club and all these things, you know, I work full time on like a couple of people in the Green Party, so this book is about laborers and the super elite, and it, it was interesting at the beginning just talking about labor. And first off, it's written, there's so much information, so many quotes in here, it's really a lot to take in. But it's good stuff, all good stuff. However, I kind of question it. It almost seems like there's two names that pop up the most in it. Um, Karl Marx, of course, who defined anarchism and communism and capitalism. And another name, George Soros, just pops up in this book again and again. And it's almost sus, like... George Soros again and again, like what did he fund the publication for this book? It almost seems like propaganda. This book almost seems pro capitalist in a little bit of ways. It talks about Bill Gates being like creative capitalist, whatever. And it's really promotional of capitalism and it really hypes up capitalism as if it's the only form of government that's ever worked when in fact capitalism is new to the world almost. We're talking about post capitalism now. And of course, anarchism being the first form of rule or governing ever and then everything else morphed from there and communism even inclusive of capitalism it's really kind of odd to me that this book hypes up capitalism like it's the only way to go but either way there was a couple of buzzwords that came up in it that i thought were pretty cool one was alpha geek uh which it, it talks about you know this new class of corporate uh uh, people being sort of like a, a new branch of the government. Kind of bugged me out. They talked about 
uh, you know, like corporate politicians at the very end of the book, and of course by the very end of the book, I already read 200 fucking 50 pages, and then just then get to like how the super elite are funding our politicians, or the politicians are a new branch of super leader, whatever. But either way, it's talking about wealth inequality, and at the beginning, they talk about the industrial revolution and the gilded age, and about how um, about how you know, like the the satanic labor mills versus the workers, which is kind of like, to me, it's like, do you mean the, the satanic forces of the workers? Like,